Is there someone here? Hay alguien por acá? Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Good to see hello. you, the ones that I know. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, hello, Alquita, ¿cómo está? Good to see Ay, you. Bien, bien, bien contenta de verla. De veras, bueno de, de veras que, bueno, para mí es una bendición que continuemos con usted. Y realmente eh, para mí ha sido una grata sorpresa verla de nuevo. Ay, qué bueno, para mí también. Qué bueno, right? We got like a kind of a scare, right? There was one of my colleagues here when I was trying to sign in and it took me out and it took me out. Estaba queriendo entrar y me sacaba y me sacaba y me sacaba. Y yo, ¿qué pasa? Cuando, oh, cuando escuché a la compañera que dice, me llamo y yo, yo así, de who? <laughs> Y me sacó y le digo, uh, um, and I told to my boss, boss, there's someone in the room, someone else in the room and I cannot sign in. And they say, yes, uh, she just made a mistake. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and I was in the chat and I couldn't, I couldn't avoid to send some stickers just, uh, you know, laughing, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes, just laughing, right? Yeah. And someone said, there, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah but we are here right we are here so it's nice to see everyone right everyone that was with Thank me you. in the previous uh course i don't know if there's someone new here welcome right and my name is marta as you might be able to see right and i'm gonna be your teacher for sure this is this is the one for sure right <laughs> so let's continue then um let's get it started I don't know if you were discussing some points with my colleague. You were discussing something with her. Discutieron algún punto con la compañera o algo. No. Realmente no. Estamos no. en otro curso. Ajá. Ah. Sí. ¿Cuáles sí. habían puesto algún avanzado, algún básico? Era una, no una discusión, una discusión oh. familiar eh, con los verbos de turn down y pick up. Entonces, oh. ese es el diálogo. Ese es uh -huh. el diálogo. Oh, sí. wow. And you were like, what is this? <laughs> what is this, right? Okay. Yes, what is this? But anyways, right. Uh, so let's get started. Then we are behind the schedule. I think uh, this, I will say after the the class so we can complete it the, the the hour right because there are 16 minutes uh, left on it so what i have here it is that we are in the pre-intermediate the module number three as uh, you might able to see i am martha right uh, for the ones that were with me and the ones that were not with me it's a pleasure to meet you to see you again and i hope that this time we can have fun as we did in the previous module right so something regarding to the scheduling, right? Uh, we are gonna have classes, which is going to be between 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. Uh, four weeks, right? From Monday to Thursday. In this case, uh, we are gonna be from uh, this uh, day. Oh, I made a mistake here, right? Uh, here, right? We are gonna be, sorry. I have this one from the previous class. This one, we are gonna be here from today up to Thursday, uh, March the 22nd, right? Forget about these dates. Olvídense de estos días, ¿verdad? Porque acá este fue un, un pequeño error de dedo, pero déjenme lo corregir acá. Vamos a estar acá. Este es el 22nd. Permítanme. I've been having such a horrible days because I've been traveling and the, the transportation is not good, right? So sometimes I've been in the, in the traffic for a long time, like for uh, three hours, two hours, and it's crazy, right? So here is what we have. Sorry about that. I didn't take a look on it deeply. There we go. Uh, this one is March. Okay. For you to have a perspective here, right? As this one is March as well. Give me one second. Bear with me. One second.
give me one second my friends here okay uh this one is fab miren que locura esto chicos perdónenme Okay, uh, this is what we have, right? Uh, from today, that is uh, February the 24th, after March the 22nd, we are gonna have the classes. On Thursday, March the 3rd, if I'm not mistaken, is gonna be our first, uh, second week. I don't know if we're gonna take it as a second week, but keep in mind that between the third, March the 3rd and as well, or even on March the 10th, I'm gonna place it here. I uh, wanna place March the 10th better because I think it is gonna be in that way. Uh, March the 10th, we are gonna have the first evaluation. You already know that the evaluation is the same one that is uh, in the virtual platform. And on Thursday, March the 22nd, we are gonna have the final test, which is the same that is in the virtual platform. Tomorrow, as an exception, we are gonna have classes, right? This is due to uh, basically for the dates that uh, the company managed. So tomorrow we are going to have classes. We are going to see at each other. As I said, it's in a section because on Monday we are going to start from Monday to Thursday, right? Este, acá tenemos, ¿verdad? Parte del scheduling, perdón, yo no me había fijado, había movido las fechas, etcétera, etcétera. Vamos a estar de lunes a jueves entre las 8 de la noche y las 9 de la noche, ¿verdad? Una hora completa. Eh, comenzamos hoy, eh, lo que es jueves, ¿verdad? Aquí dice lunes, once the can. Comenzamos hoy jueves eh, 24 de lo que es uh, el mes de febrero y vamos a terminar el 22 de febrero. Mañana vamos a tener clases. Este va a ser una excepción en la calendarización por cuestiones de fechas. Así que mañana vamos a tener clases siempre en el mismo horario de 8 a 9. Y el lunes sí vamos a retomar ya directamente pues lo que es entre las lunes a jueves. verdad. Mañana solamente es una excepción y vamos a tener clases. Recuerde la importancia de conectarse a sus clases, ¿verdad? Eh, es de conectarse la hora completa. Hoy, ¿verdad? Como excepción, pues eh, hubo ese pequeño swap, ese pequeño error. Entonces perdimos que casi 15 minutos. Entonces, pero esas cosas que pasan son excepciones. Pero ustedes tienen que estar conectados lo que son exactamente la hora completa, los 60 minutos. Si bien es cierto, no hay lista de asistencia porque no hay lista de asistencia no significa que no nos monitoreen, sí lo hacen. Entonces, al final de cada clase, ¿verdad? Pues lo que es el personal de la academia, ellos monitorean eh, quién estuvo y quién no. Ellos saben cómo lo hacen y ellos llevan pues su lista de asistencia. Así que por cualquier cosa, por cualquier desconexión, ¿verdad? Que ustedes tengan, interrúmpame en la clase y diga, mire, teacher, a mí se me desconectó que cinco minutos falla de internet, electricidad, etcétera, etcétera, pero es importante que usted lo reporte porque así se sabe, ¿verdad? Ah, no se salió y vuelve a entrar, ¿verdad? Entonces, esas situaciones es lo importante. Sorry. We are going to have five sessions, right? Uh, as you might able to see, it's the same. We are going to start in the first two weeks, the first three sessions, and then we are going to go on the fourth week with the, num the session number four and in the final week with the session number five. Las primeras dos semanas vamos a estudiar las primeras tres lecciones y ya pues eh, la, se, la que son la verdad lo que es la tercera y la cuarta semana nos vamos a ir con la sesión cuatro y la sesión cinco. As you may able to see here, these are the names of each of the sessions. Uh, it's a very exciting place, it's, it really works. May I take your order, the biggest and the best. I am going to a soccer match, right? So those ones are the sessions that we are going to be in a studying. Is it the same things, right, that we have in the virtual platform. And just remember, right, uh, we need the curse, the 80% assistance virtual platform, right? So as long as it's possible, let's be on the conference and no, never give up, right? Don't give up. Let's continue on it. Do you have any question, comments regarding to this or something that you would like to know about me? No teacher. No, no, all right. 
So let's see, um, tomorrow I'm going to introduce myself in the way that they want us to introduce it, right? Because uh, today I was the first day that I was seeing that. Uh, but as you know, right, I'm Martha and I'm here just to help you. And let's see, let's get started then. Uh, we are going to be with the session number one. It's a very exciting place. Uh, this is the session number one. And as you might be able to see, I have this beautiful image. Does anyone know where is this located? No? No idea? Anyone has seen it before? No? No? It's a place that you would like to visit. Just by seeing the picture, would you like to visit this place? I'm sorry? Yes, yes, I like. Yes, Maybe. you like it? Someone talk, talk something. I'm sorry, go ahead. Please tell me. Alguien dijo algo que no pude escuchar, perdón. Ah, sorry, teacher. I visited the beach. It's a, a excellent place for the mm -hmm. uh, La del Mar. Oh, yes. It's some, something, some place like that. But uh, this one is uh, called uh, The Stairs to the Heaven, right? Have you okay. ever seen that about that? And have you ever heard about that? No, I never. Heaven? No, I never. Her, never oh, had heard about, about that. This place. Never, no, I never. I never. Never heard. ever. All right. Never ever. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. So that's a new place for you. Uh, this is a place in China, right? Uh, it's uh, the name is Stars to the Heaven, right? Eh, es un lugar en China se llama La Escalera al Cielo. As you might be able to see, it has those landscape, right? And you have to walk through this. Uh, to these stairs right to get in before to get into those stairs there are another couple of stairs that are going like this like a circle and then you go up right so this is in china right would you like to visit it someday yes no yes yes, yes. Does it hold your attention yes. Oh, that's awesome. Have you visited um, here in El Salvador any touristic place that really likes to you? any place that you remember that you have visited. For example, in my case, um, two years ago, right? Uh, we went camping to the, well, the name is Jardín de los Volcanes. So you are able to see the volcanoes, right? So we were camping, it's a very cold place because it's located in Chalatenango, right? So it's very cold at nights, right? So we went there and it's really nice. It's a really nice place. Have you gone to any place like that or any other places here in El Salvador? Uh, yes, I, we visit uh, Pital. Oh, Pital, all right. Pital. Uh -huh. And then um, we walking uh, around the town. It's a, a very nice, very nice. Oh, okay. We walk, right? We walk. Yes. We yes. walk. All we right. walk. Uh -huh. We walk. Yes. All right. Good. Excellent. Someone else that who would like to share? Could you the volcan Ilamatepec? Ilamatepec. Wow, that's wonderful. And uh, what was your experience there? Did you like it? Climbing, climbing, climbing. Yes, uh, climbing. Mm -hmm. yes sir. You climbing the volcano to get there? Yes. All right. Yes. With awesome. my friends. With your friends? Good. Yes. That's wonderful. When yeah. was that? A few years ago, just in the recent days. ¿Cuándo fue eh, eso? ¿Pasó el año pasado? You tell me. Uh, about one year. About one year? Oh, yes. It's very recent. That's wonderful. Thank yes, you for yes. sharing. Good. That's really good. Thank you for sharing. Someone else that who would like to share? Mm -hmm. No one else? All right. 
So thank you for the ones that have shared your experience, right? So as you might see here in El Salvador as well, we have beautiful places. And whenever you can, right, try to travel, try to travel with family here around the country or to any other country. Let's see what do we have here, right? So we are gonna be studying a couple of adjectives to describe places, right? So it says that here we need to match the column A with the positive in the column B, then add two more pairs in the adjectives, right? But this is going to be for later on. We are going, I'm going to read it for you. Please read it with me. If you can repeat it, you can repeat it. Um, in the case, you might keep your microphones off because all of the voices, right, are going to make sound. So if you want to repeat it, go ahead and repeat it after me, but with your microphones off. And if you have any questions regarding to the pronunciation or the meaning, let me know once we finish, right? So, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Acá nos pide que nosotros hagamos matching con la columna A y la columna B, ¿verdad? Son los opposites, que sería el opuesto a cada uno de ellos. Yo les voy a leer cada uno de ellos para que ustedes puedan escuchar la pronunciación. Si ustedes tienen alguna pregunta con respecto a pronunciación, o lo que es el meaning, háganmelo saber cuando terminemos. Pueden ustedes ir repitiendo después de mí, si ustedes así lo desean, pero hagámoslo con los micrófonos apagados porque pues todas las voces, ¿verdad? En algún momento nos van a generar el sonido. Así que si ustedes pueden ir repitiendo, háganlo. Let's get started. Beautiful. 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 Chip. 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 Clean. Clean, clean, interesting, 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 quiet, 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 relaxing, 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 safe, 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 spacious, 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 boring, 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 crowded. Crowded, crowded, dangerous, 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 expensive, 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 noise, 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 polluted, 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 stressful, 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 ugly, ugly, ugly. So questions so far about the pronunciation or the meaning in this vocabulary. Mm -hmm. No, everything is fine. Good. What is the meaning of polluted? Polluted. 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 Yes, uh, polluted is, uh, for example, how can I say it? Let me tell you in Spanish, right? Because in English, it's going to be kind of difficult to give you uh, uh, just an example. Let's say it, uh, polluted is contaminado, right? Uh, have you seen, uh, well, the cars, right? When you are in the car with the gasoline and everything, uh, you are polluted the environment. but pollution or polluted is not only it's not only regarding to garbage right or something that you can smell it's also the sound right it could be sound it could be different and many things in the environment right so there are different types of pollution and polluted is regarding to that right there might be just a place that there is garbage um you can see well the smoke right in the air you can hear so many sounds so there will be many types of pollution in el caso de lo que es uh, polluted es la polución verdad eh, si lo quisiéramos ver ya en algo bastante una traducción completa y si no pues decimos que es la contaminación eh, contaminación no solamente es pues eh, lo 
lo que vemos, ¿verdad? Como en el aire, el humo, lo que es eh, la basura en las calles, etcétera, también está la contaminación por el sonido. Entonces, acá cuando usted le habla de contaminación, es algo en, en general, es todo, ¿verdad? Una ciudad eh, puede decirse que está llena de basura, que hasta hay mucho ruido, no se puede descansar, este, y pues también en el ambiente usted puede ver, ¿verdad? Como por ejemplo acá. ¿verdad? Todo esto, como usted ve acá, eh, en realidad no es eh, neblina, ¿verdad? Que nosotros podríamos decir, sino que es smog eh, en el caso de lo que es la contaminación. ¿verdad? Eso sería polluted. Right? Any other? You are welcome. Any other one that you might have, my friends? What mean crowded? Crowded. Crowded. Yes, yes. Crowded. Crowded, uh, for example, let's imagine that we are in a classroom and it's not only you, but another 23 people, more than us, right? So there will be the classroom, it will be crowded of people, right? So there will be you and 23 more. Is it, do you get it? Or the buses, right? The buses, for example, the buses, you have the seats and there can be 70 people sit and the other ones are standing, right? And the bus in the morning is crowded of people. Do you get it? Por ejemplo, cuando nos vamos en los buses, ¿verdad? Eh, los buses tienen capacidad, digamos, para 70 personas sentadas, pero paradas, ¿cuántas van? ¿Verdad? Entonces, ¿va qué? ¿Va qué el, 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 el bus de tantas personas? ¿Qué decimos? ¿Cómo le llamamos a eso? Cuando vemos así, ¿verdad? Mucha gente que, en, el, en el bus. Que va lleno. Lleno. Exactamente. Ajá, el crowded es este como sobrepoblado, poblado, uh -huh. lleno, ¿verdad? Pero ese lleno es una cosa extrema, así como lo uso, ¿verdad? Que se nos estiran un poquito cuando llegan mucha gente. So, yeah, that's crowded. Cuando está demasiado lleno. Puede ser personas, cosas, ¿verdad? Eh, el adjetivo es para ambos. Usted puede tener crowded of people. Un chile lleno de personas, ¿verdad? Es un gentío, decimos nosotros. Y este, si vemos muchos carros, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, en un tráfico, it's crowded cars, right? Entonces nosotros decimos, hay un carrerío aquí, ¿verdad? En nuestro español, ¿verdad? Así lo decimos. ¿Alguien iba a decir algo? Yes, someone else? Any other question? My friends? Okay. Someone else? No, everything is fine. My unit is fine. Yes, we are good. We are fine. Yes. 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 All right. So if we are good, if we are fine, right? It's uh, I was about to give you a couple of minutes to talk to you each other, right? Uh, regarding to two places, one for each one in using these adjectives, right? Um, you might talk regarding to the places that you had visited or any place that you had uh, been recently, right? Eh, les voy a dar un par de minutitos, eh, cinco, ocho minutitos, diez lo máximo, para que ustedes puedan conversar con una pareja, con un compañero, para que utilicen estos adjetivos, ¿verdad? Hablando acerca de un lugar que ustedes conozcan, hayan visitado, o recientemente hayan estado allí, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿estamos listos? Yes. Yep. Yep. Ready? Yes. Yes. All right. So, let me place you in groups and I'm going to give you five minutes for that. So, let's see. Let me stop sharing. Are you going to need a picture for this or you're okay? Yes. All right. Yes, please. All right, sure, not a problem. So let me start placing the break from here. So we are gonna be 20 because um, with me, you are 21. That's what I say. Um, let's see. Let me take a picture here. Okay. I thought that it was me who was uh, just, uh, you know, 
made a mistake right in the group I say probably was not this group, it was another one and they sent it to me this. And I was afraid because uh, my colleague was there, right? What an accident today. So let's see, there we go. Let me create them. Okay, all right. Oh, someone has gone. What do you go? Mm. <laughs> yes, they have gone. All right, so there will be uh, a groups of two and one of three, right? So there will be one trio. I'm gonna open at the moment your rooms. Please join to them. You got eight minutes to talk with a partner, right? Okay, thank Go you. Go ahead, you're welcome. Hello, my friend Jose. Are you gonna able to join, or do you have any problem with the microphone or something? Quiero ver el siguiente, el siguiente adjetivo, el siguiente, el siguiente adjetivo es chip. Eh, podríamos decir, um, the shoes are cheap, cheap. Uh -huh. Ahora, si quiere, diga usted lo del tercer adjetivo. Climba. Uh, smoking the cars, the pulu, pulu, the. ¿Cómo puede ser? Environment, así es. Hey. Yes. Hey. To go the, by the supermarket is very boring. Because the uh, uh, forever pull the place. <laughs> okay, and in, and and in these times is very dangerous. We go to to places uh, mm -hmm. crowded mm -hmm. because um, with the COVID nineteen. Pandemic COVID is mm -hmm. Yes, it is very, very dangerous. 
score in this moment is best uh, start my house okay now uh, it's your turn well it's my my turn i don't like to hang out so I'm sorry, I don't like to go out so much. Uh, so I visited a few places, but I very like to visit uh, Guatepeque Lake. It was very beautiful experience. And I have the chance to ride a, a boat and, 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 and go and go out and yes, and go uh, along the, the the lake, it was okay. very relaxing experience. Okay, um, <laughs> I you? Uh, I like uh, to visit Pital, and oh. uh, I would like to camping in this place, but I can uh, do it. And very good. Uh, this is a beautiful place, and. Uh, some dangerous if 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 if, uh, if I walk walk around the guitar because it's very uh, silvestre, no sé, <laughs> rústico. <laughs> uh, but it's a, a, a very cold. Uh, it's, it's nice. It's nice. Very cold. Very nice. Yes. Wild. Eh, wild. Perdón, ah, perdón por interrumpirles. Ah, sí, sí. Eh, lo que quiere decir sería wild. Eh, salvaje, wild. ¿verdad? Wild. Ah, ok. Sí. ¿Cómo es se salvaje. escribe? Salvaje. It's uh, W I L D. W Ajá. as en window, I as en India, L as en Luis, D as en David. Wild. Ok. Ajá. But I. ¿Cómo se dice I eso? Like uh -huh. Creo que lo que usted quiso decir era como también con el camino que es bien, bueno, incluso hay gente que le da mucho miedo la, 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 ¿Cómo se dirá eso que es así en su vida? Es mucho su vida. Es, y, y es, ¿Sí? es, es very, very short, the, the street is very short, the street oh, of the is very short. Uh -huh. Those ones are paths. Eso uh -huh. se yeah. como como caminos, ¿verdad? Y Ajá. literalmente ya, ya no son ni siquiera caminos, sino que creo que son senderos. Son senderos. Uh, uh -huh. and, Aunque hay una Pero calle... hay mucha subida, hay mucha subida sí. y un montón de accidentes que han habido. La, <risa> la gente hay, que da miedo. hay una calle que sube, pero es muy angosta. O sea, dos vehículos no pueden ir a la paz. Es, es, es peligroso, uh -huh. en ese sentido es peligroso. Sí, en ese caso, este, ya nosotros lo conoceríamos como senderismo. Ajá. Ajá, ya es senderismo y eso ya se llama step path. Step path. Step path. Step path. And the, the writing form, it is S as in Sam, T as in Tom, E as in Edward, E as in Edward, P as in Paul, a space, P as in Paul. A as in Apple, T as in Tom, H as in Harry, and S as in Sam. Step path. Okay. Step path. Y ahí abarcamos las dos, las dos eh, palabras que ustedes quieren decir, que serían senderos mm -hmm. empinados. Okay. Just going like this. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Okay. okay. And the food in this place, um, it's so so it's don't it's done good um but um, for the for the uh more or less for, for uh, 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 it's uh, no it's expensive for this place uh -huh. it's it's not good but but it's it's locked it's, you had finished yes Yes, teacher. Awesome, then. So I'm gonna close the rooms. Good job. So thank you. One second.
please let me know if everyone is coming back here. Uh, it's uh, missing 30 seconds for the rooms to get close, right? So it's everyone here? No, yes. I guess no, right? Not, not everyone is here. No, I'm checking at the moment. So we are going to wait uh, 20 seconds more because uh, not everyone is here and we will need to continue. But while we are waiting for them, right? Uh, pretty good job for the ones that I was able to hear. You did it good. Um, very satisfied, right, with uh, your progress and everything. I hope that you keep keep on practice always, right? Este, para los que pude escuchar, muy bien, bien hecho, eh, bastante satisfecha con lo que están hablando. Lo hacen muy bien. Están siguiendo muy bien los patrones. Estoy muy alegre por eso. ¿verdad? Es de felicitarlos a cada uno de los que pude escuchar, pues lo están haciendo muy bien. Good job. Yes. You're welcome. So let's see. Uh, here we have, right? Uh, this is what we were talking regarding to the adjectives. So we are going to see just the positive. The positive of beautiful, which one it will be? Ugly. Ugly, right? Thank you. This one, the H, right? Mm -hmm. So cheap, which one it will be? Expensive. Expensive, Expensive right? The D. Expensive. Thank you. The clean. Crowded. Clean, crowded. Right? Crowded. Interesting. Boring. Boring, right? Boring. Quiet. Nice. Noisy. 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 Yes. Relaxing. Stressful. 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 Safe. Stressful. Dangerous. Safe. Dangerous. Thank you. Spacious. Polluted. All right. Polluted. Uh, Polluted. Polluted. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Polluted. Go in ahead. In my case, Polluted. in my case, uh, clean, lo relacioné con polluted. Good job. Yes. For the... <laughs> yes, that's true. I was waiting that someone can say that, right? Yes. Clean is polluted. Crow Good job. Yes, crowded, crowded. Hagan de cuentica son que en lugar de tener una E, tienen una I de puntito, ¿verdad? Crowded, mm -hmm. crowded, yes. Crowded. Crowded. Entonces, sí, ahí estamos, ¿verdad? Clean is with the F, polluted. Oh. And spacious is with A. Oh, I'm sorry, with B, crowded, right? Lo espacioso, lo que está lleno, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Yes. Good job. So then, any questions of, regarding to these adjectives? There are some of them, right? Son algunos. There are way much. I must, ¿verdad? Questions? No? Everything is good? All right. So let's continue. This is the conversation that you have in the virtual platform. It says it's a fairly big city, right? It's a fairly big city. We are going to listen Eric and Carmen talking about this city please pay attention to the pronunciation if you have any questions regarding to the vocabulary keep on mind that word and we are going to see it later i'm going to share the audio with you just allow me one second this is the a are you able to hear it Yes. Page 72. Can you hear it? Pueden escucharlo. Uh, yes, teacher. Yes. yes, teacher. All right. So let me. Exercise two, conversation. It's a fairly big city. Part A, listen and practice. So where are you from, Carmen? I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Wow. I've heard that's a really nice city. Yeah, it is. The weather is great, and there are some fantastic beaches nearby. Is it expensive there? No, it's not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. How big is the city? It's a fairly big city. It's not too big, though. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. July to listen once again. 
Yes, yes please. please. Yes, all right. Unit 11. It's a very exciting place. Page 72, Exercise 2, Conversation. It's a fairly big city. Part A. Listen and practice. So where are you from, Carmen? I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Wow. I've heard that's a really nice city. Yeah, it is. The weather is great, and there are some fantastic beaches nearby. Is it expensive there? No, it's not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. How big is the city? It's a fairly big city. It's not too big, though. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. All right, there we go. What about any question? Just give me one second. Uh, please, if you want to talk, activate your microphones because I mute everyone at the moment. Okay? Eh, si quieren hablar, por favor, desactiven sus micrófonos porque les acabo de poner mute. Eh, al, había un sonido ahí, ¿verdad? No sé, no sé de dónde venía. Eh, let's see, right? Uh, sorry. If you see me that I turn off the camera, there are two reasons for me to turn it off the camera, right? I'm not going to anywhere, first of all. Uh, I'm just drinking water on, I'm just accommodating myself, right? Uh, here, what I'm sitting on. So that are the only two reasons why I turn off the camera, just in case that you were wondering why the teacher is turning off the camera, right? She's going somewhere. No, no I'm not going to anywhere. Um, let's see, right? Uh, what I was saying, right, in parentheses, um, si ustedes no ven que apago la cámara, hay dos razones por la que puedo apagar la cámara. Una es porque puedo estar bebiendo agua. Dos, porque estoy acomodándome, ¿verdad? Acá donde estoy sentada. Entonces, no me voy a ningún lado, aquí permanezco. <ríe> Así que no, no se preocupen. So, let's see. Uh, would you like to listen it all over again? Or it's okay like that. ¿Estamos bien hasta ahí? We are good. Yes, yes. teacher. Okay. It's okay. So, do you have any questions regarding to the vocabulary or the pronunciation in this uh, conversation with Carmen and Eric? What is fairly? Fairly. Uh, in Spanish, uh, it will be bastante. Okay. Bastante, yes. That one. Thank you. Teacher, is fairly, fairly big? Fairly big. What do you mean? In that case, uh, fairly is just an adverb modifying this adjective. And this fairly is, says, es una ciudad bastante grande, ¿verdad? No es grande, sino que es bastante grande, ¿verdad? Yeah. Okay. Um, let's uh, say the, the difference, right? Cuando nosotros decimos que algo es grande, definitivamente es grande, ¿verdad? Cuando decimos que es bastante grande, eh, no es tanto como otras comparado como otras, pero sí lo es. No sé si me explico. ¿Sí? All right. Yes. ¿Alguien iba a decir algo, perdón? No. no. All right. Teacher, so, ¿podría yeah. por favor leer una vez más usted esta conversación? Es que hay una palabras que las, las dicen demasiado rápido y no se alcanza a comprender cómo se pronuncia. Um, sure. Uh, let me get no. started, right? Sure. Um, so, where are you from, Carmen? I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Uh, acá, ¿verdad? El Puerto Rico no lo dicen tal cual. Ellos dicen Puerto Rico, right? Porque American and British, they cannot pronounce the R, right? La R, como nosotros le decimos, so Puerto Rico. Wow, I've heard that's a really nice city. Yeah, it is. The weather is great, and there are some fantastic beaches just outside the city. Is it expensive there? No, it is not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable, right? Prices are pretty reasonable. How big is the city? It's a fairly big city, but it's not too big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. All right. All right. So questions? Is that okay like that? Or do you want me to read it once again? And what does it mean? Maybe I should plan. Oh, maybe I should plan. 
right? Oh, yeah. uh, ese sería el maybe, sería tal vez, and should, debería, ¿verdad? Debería, pero solo una posibilidad, ¿verdad? Ese should, I should plan a trip there. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. thank you. You're welcome. Someone else, any question? No. All right. Uh, before that we go, right? I'm not gonna entertain you too way much, right? Because I know that you spend 15, 16 minutes with my colleague, right? If I'm not mistaken. Creo que estuvieron con mi compañera como 15 minutos, right? All right. So I'm gonna say here in the in the class, uh, the other 15 minutes that are missing, so we can complete the other. Like me. Uh, let's uh, before that we go, let's listen the rest of the conversation. What are we gonna, we gonna be looking for, right? Listen to the conversation, the second part, and what about the entertainment in San Juan, right? Listen, what do they have as entertainment there, right? So let's listen. Page 72, exercise two. Are you able to hear it? All right. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What does Carmen say about entertainment in San Juan? So what kind of things are there to do in San Juan? Well, there are a lot of nightclubs. Puerto Ricans love to dance. I'm not much of a dancer. Anything else? Well, a lot of people enjoy going out to eat. There are some excellent restaurants in old San Juan. They're popular with both locals and tourists. Now that sounds good. I love to eat. All right, would you like to listen it once again? Yes. All right, so let's listen. It. Page 72, exercise two, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What does Carmen say about entertainment in San Juan? So what kind of things are there to do in San Juan? Well, there are a lot of nightclubs. Puerto Ricans love to dance. I'm not much of a dancer. Anything else? Well, a lot of people enjoy going out to eat. There are some excellent restaurants in Old San Juan. They're popular with both locals and tourists. Now that sounds good. I love to eat. Mm -hmm. Okay, is it good like that? Yes? Okay. What about entertainment? What do we have as entertainment there in San Juan? And nightclub. Uh, nightclubs, right? Nightclub. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. What do they do there? What do they do? Dance, they go dance, dancing, dancing, right? Dancing. They love dancing. dancing, right? They dancing. love dancing, right? They say that the Puerto Ricans love dancing. That's wonderful. Yes. So what else? What did he say regarding to dance? What Eric said regarding to dance? Uh, he don't, don't like he doesn't like it, right? Doesn't, yeah. He doesn't like doesn't it at all. Like, mm -hmm. Yes, he doesn't like it at all. What else? What else? What else Carmen mentioned? The restaurant. The food. Food, right? The restaurants, as yeah. Kevin said, uh -huh. right? The restaurants. Uh -huh. And Eric said regarding to the restaurants that he? Yes. He you liked this. Uh -huh. He loves to eat. He didn't say like, right? He said love to eat, all right? So he was happy with the idea of the restaurants, right? What Carmen said regarding to the restaurants that they were popular with? With what? With locals and? Yo allí no le entendí bien como decía, teacher. Oh, I see with uh -huh. ah yes tourists yes with locals and tourists right eh, que eran bien populares con los local con la gente local y con los turistas verdad los restaurantes so there seems to be that they are pretty good restaurants so for you guys would you like to visit San Juan yes all right you should see Olguita's face when she say yes <laughs> all right the rest of you would you like to visit San Juan at some point, would you like to visit Puerto Rico? Uh-huh. No? Yes. 
Yes, all right, that's wonderful. So if you would like to just bounce, right, because it is 9.03 and you stay with my colleague, right, uh, just uh, 15 minutes before me. So you might go, I will stay here up to the, well, up to this, right, 10 completed the hour, right? But you are free to go if you want to go, right? Pueden retirarse si ustedes así lo desean, ¿verdad? We will see us each other tomorrow, don't forget it. Nos vamos a ver mañana, no lo olviden. A la, a la hora, esta vez sí va a ser a las 8, ¿verdad? De 8 a 9. Y pues yo me voy a estar acá unos uh, cinco minutitos más en lo que se termina la, ¿verdad? Lo que es la, la sesión para que podamos hacer los 60 minutos, ¿verdad? Pues ya estuvieron con mi compañera 15 minutos. Eh, ustedes estuvieron trabajando, ¿verdad? But if you have any question regarding to something else, we can take advantage of the time if someone would like to stay. Si ustedes tienen alguna pregunta de algo, podemos tomar ventaja del tiempo si alguien desea quedarse, ¿verdad? O si alguno de ustedes desean quedarse. Ustedes me dicen. Uh -huh. No. Uh, I don't have a question, but I, if you teach us uh, some, some, something else, it's okay. Oh, okay. Anyone else? <laughs> you tell me, right? You teacher, tell me no, if you have, go ahead. Teacher, I have a question. I very confused with the al adjectives. All right. What is your confusion regarding to the adjectives? Uh, uh, how we can use them in a sentence. Oh, that's a pretty simple and a pretty good question. Let's go ahead and take a look here, right? Let me open up my whiteboard. Le voy a poner mi pizarra. You already know that it's a document, but that's my whiteboard. Uh, the adjectives, right? The adjectives... Right, the adjectives, let's remember that they describe something, right? They describe, right? They describe. Basically, and most likely, it's something physical, right? Let me check this spelling. I tend to forget the words and I don't know why, right? They tend to describe something physical, right? Something that you are able to perceive with the senses, right? What about the senses? The senses are whenever you touch, what you see, what you hear, what you can taste, right? ¿Qué son los adjetivos, verdad? Los adjetivos prácticamente, pues, eh, como la palabra lo dice, uh, dan un, una descripción. Por lo general es algo físico, ¿verdad? Algo que se percibe con los sentidos. En el caso de nuestros cinco sentidos, ¿verdad? El tacto, el olfato, el oído, la vista, el gusto. Entonces, eh, para ellos son. Por ejemplo, en una oración, ¿verdad? Nosotros sabemos que tenemos sujeto, verb en complement, ¿verdad? Y lo que yo les ponía adicional, el puntito, ¿verdad? Que siempre nos debe, nos debe de llevar. Sin embargo, a veces, eh, eh, en el caso de, de las oraciones, en una oración más compleja, nosotros lo vemos más detallado. Pero acá, por efectos, para que no nos compliquemos, lo vamos a ver así, eh, más pequeñito, ¿verdad? Tenemos el sujeto y vamos a poner a Carmen, ¿verdad? A nuestra compañera Carmen. So, Carmen, for example, is tall. Let's say it like that, right? It's tall. Y acá, eh, nuestro adjetivo, Es este, ¿verdad? Tall. ¿Cómo podemos percibir que Carmen es alta? Pues nosotros lo vemos, ¿verdad? En comparación tal vez no a nuestra estatura, pero sí a la de alguien más, vemos que Carmen es alta. Entonces, estos, estos adjetivos, por lo general todos los adjetivos van después del verbo be, ¿verdad? que es el verbo ser o estar. Recordemos que el verbo be nos describe estados de la persona. ¿verdad? Ya sea este estado permanente, que sería para siempre, o por un periodo de tiempo bastante largo. Entonces, pues, después del verbo be, se van a utilizar. Por ejemplo, acá, si usted se fija, it's. Entonces, it is a fairly big city, right? So, acá nosotros tenemos un ejemplo. Eh, por ejemplo, pasémonos acá. Vamos a hablar, entonces, en este caso de San Juan, ¿verdad? We are going to stay here, see. 
de la ciudad de San Juan. So in the San Juan city, she said, right, it is, it is big. No vamos a poner el fairly porque todavía, pues mañana vamos a ver eso, el por qué. Entonces, eh, ella lo está, lo está diciendo así. It's big, right? Si ustedes se fijan acá, de nueva cuenta, tenemos un sujeto que es el it porque estamos hablando de la ciudad de San Juan, ¿verdad? Y el verbo be, que es este, no más la contracción. Y después tenemos lo que es el adjetivo big. ¿verdad? Entonces, estos adjetivos se utilizan para describir algo. Por lo general, en el que estamos viendo nosotros ahorita, son adjetivos lo que nosotros percibimos con nuestros sentidos, ¿verdad? Son sensoriales. Algo que usted puede escuchar, por ejemplo, el noise, ¿verdad? Eh, tiene que ser algo demasiado fuerte para que nuestro oído no solamente lo capte, sino que llegue a ser molesto. Eh, en el caso de ver algo, ¿verdad? Tenemos que si nos dice que es bonito, por ejemplo, si, eh, um, let's say, at San Juan, beaches are beautiful, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo podemos decir que son hermosas, verdad? Nosotros lo vemos con nuestra vista y aquello que estamos observando, el paisaje, el landscape, ¿verdad? Nos parece hermoso. Entonces, todo aquello que es uh, sensorial o que lo percibimos a través de nuestros sentidos, todos ellos son adjetivos y los adjetivos siempre van a ir después del verbo be que nos describe los estados. Usted le puede dar una descripción o un adjetivo a cualquier cosa, ¿verdad? Ya sea animada o inanimada. Las inanimadas, ¿verdad? Sabemos que son eh, cualquier cosa que no tiene vida por sí sola, ¿verdad? Y pues lo animado ya serían los animales y pues nosotros como personas. Entonces, eh, en este caso... Pues esto, los adjetivos son para eso, prácticamente describir, ¿verdad? Describir lo que nosotros percibi percibimos a través de nuestros sentidos, ya sea esto una percepción positiva o negativa. Por eso nosotros tenemos adjetivos opuestos, ¿verdad? Que ellos le llaman opuestos, pero en realidad es el negativo de, de lo que sería, bueno, de lo bonito sabemos que es feo, ¿verdad? Y de lo feo alguien me va a decir es el horrible, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, ¿cómo usted sabe que algo no le sabe bien a su gusto? Pues lo prueba y no le gustó, ¿verdad? Este, porque ya lo, lo empezó a, a, a hacer tasting con, pues, con lo que es eh, en, en la boca, ¿verdad? Ya empezamos a, a probarlo. Entonces, todo eso los adjetivos nos describen. Ya sea algo positivo, algo negativo. Y siempre vamos a tener nuestro sujeto, el verbo be, y ellos acá van a ser el complemento, ¿verdad? Este sé que nosotros tenemos acá es el complemento que ahora nosotros tenemos como adjetivo. No sé si ahí le aclara un poco la duda. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay. You are welcome. Así es como funcionan los adjetivos, ¿verdad? ¿Alguien más? ¿Alguna pregunta? ¿Dudas, comentarios acerca de los adjetivos o de algo más? ¿No? ¿Todo bien? ¿Sí? Ok. Bueno, keep on mind that, ¿verdad? Eh, para los otros que nos quedamos acá, eh, mantengan eso presente, ¿verdad? Eh, en el caso de los adjetivos, nos describen algo físico, eh, que lo percibimos con nuestros sentidos, ¿verdad? Bueno, el, el noise, ¿verdad? Por eso les ponía entre paréntesis físico, porque el noise no es algo físico, ¿verdad? Los ruidos no son físicos, sino que ya es algo más sensorial lo que nosotros estamos viendo. Así que eh, mantengan eso presente para que mañana pues podamos ver esto. Eh, vean en sus adverb before adjectives, ahí dice, ¿verdad? Entonces vean ustedes eh, la el, ¿verdad? lo que es en la plataforma virtual porque también ahí parte lo explica en lo que es la plataforma y mañana yo les explico en detalle qué es todo esto verdad si ustedes lo quieren ver en lugar de adverbs verdad eh, before adjectives en este caso verdad vamos a decir que son como intensificadores de lo que nosotros estamos viendo ¿verdad? recordemos que nosotros podemos intensificar una palabra 
¿verdad? Eh, ¿Por qué se le llama adverb? Porque en sí está, en ese caso, modificando el estado del verbo que nosotros estamos diciendo, ¿verdad? Por eso va el adverb before the adjective. Entonces, este, mañana lo vamos a ver a detalle, ¿verdad? Si hay algún requerimiento o algo especial y lo quieren pedir, pídanlo a través de, del chat de WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Si ustedes desean este, escribirme side chat y decirme los side chat, díganme los side chat, ¿verdad? Ahí estoy siempre pendiente. Y pues gracias a los que se quedaron un ratito más, ¿verdad? Y pues se aprendieron algo de los adjetivos con la pregunta de la compañera. Así que nos retiramos, pasen buenas noches, nos vemos mañana, esta vez sí, a las 8 de la noche y que descansen, ¿verdad? Si no han comido, vayan a comer. Have a good night. Take care, my friends. Be Thank careful. you, teacher. Good tomorrow. Good tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.